For at TV, the world is thinking. Our founding fathers all felt that the people should make laws. In fact, the Declaration of Independence is serious lawmaking. And what they did is, uh, on the way to Philadelphia, they cut a deal with the devil for slavery. And so in order to sell that deal, they didn't want the people to vote on ratification. So they kept the people one step removed by having it done in conventions. And so in so doing, they did not put in place procedures where the people could make laws. And so we now have a setup where starting from the get-go, the people were left out of the picture and the elites control the government. And so that has carried us forward to where we are today. In the past, we could get away with it because the damage we were doing was fairly limited. But now, with the environment, with the technology we have, the ability to destroy the planet with our nuclear capability, the destroying of the planet with our industrialization on a, on a guaranteed way, and with the globalization of our economic systems, which are in no man's land, we're in very serious trouble. And so there's really only two alternatives where you can deal with this. The people that are causing the problem, which means the government, the control of the government in the hands of elites, or you can deal with it with the people. Now, you're all, you've all been weaned on the concept that uh, you control the government by your vote on election day. Well, for about two seconds, when you throw that lever, you've got power. And the minute you throw that lever, you've given your power away to politicians, and then all you can do is write to them and ask them to do the right thing. Well, that and a buck and a half will buy you a cup of coffee at Starbucks. That's about all you're going to get out of that. Because you know and I know representative government is broken. And I could cite you chapter and verse on that. But you know it intuitively. You know it. And so if there is no solution within the government, then where is the solution? There's only two venues. And then what is the force that they have that you don't have right now? You have it in California. I'm speaking in California right now, and you have the initiative process. And this came about at the turn of the last century. It was one of the great progressive states that was, uh, uh, steps that was done from the founding of the country. And now what we need to do is to take that power, improve upon it, because the laws that brought this about are not all that great, but we can improve upon it and take that power to the federal level. And that is with the National Initiative, a piece of legislation that took me 10 years to write. And that legislation, when the American people enact it, the Congress will never enact it into law because it dilutes their power. And the American media will never support it because it dilutes their power, because they're the intermediaries of those who hold power. And so now, if we can equip the American people to make laws, the American people are qualified to vote on every single policy issue that affects their lives. They don't have the barriers that the people who hold public office have, which is, of course, their own self-interest. They don't have that. When people understand their enlightened self-interest, they will vote on it. And so the process is there, but we need 60 million Americans to vote to empower themselves, and when they have this power, they will be able to make and make the changes. It's bringing the American people into the operation of government as lawmakers. They become the fourth check in our systems of checks and balances. It's a win-win. The people, the existing representatives, they'll be able to do a better job in the day-to-day -day operation of government because the vexatious, vexatious issues will have been removed and the people will make the decision on those issues. War and peace women's rights, health care, taxation, all of these issues, the people can make those decisions and make the right decisions, and all we need is to bring that about. What am I talking about? I am talking about changing the paradigm of human governance. There is no greater task. We do it in the United States. It will go around the world like wildfire, and you'll see the world change. What we need in our society is to understand there's enough on this planet for everybody. Right now, we are led 
by greed, selfishness, and violence. We need to change that. We need to have the people understand that they can change it and that we need to be led by love, understanding, courage, courage in the people so they can implement the balance of the virtues that they have. That's the change that has to come about, not these phony changes where people take a, a focus group and say, oh, change, change. That's not change. Change is empowering the American people.